Heavy se escribe. Heavy, letter G. Hi guys. Good evening. Red, 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 no gray. Hi. Good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Yes. Um, can you guys stop sharing the screen right now for me, please? Who's sharing the screen right now? Hi. No, I'm not. Someone else is. Now I'm sharing the screen. All right, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hi, Sir Lucia, Cecilia, Martin, Hera, Jose, Elizabeth, Paco, Freddy, Ricardo. Very good. Hi, teacher. Hi, Erika, Joanna. Hello, Flores, Claudia. Very good. I have a couple of people already. Good evening. That's nice. How's everybody? Everybody's okay? Okay. Everybody okay. okay? Very good. Are you happy? It's Wednesday. We have one more day of classes and then it's the weekend, all right? So that's very good. We can rest a little bit. Um, all, right. all right, guys. Today I have a little of uh, migraine, so I would ask you to, like, be, be nice with the... Um, noise in your house okay because my head is pounding all right all right um are we ready to start yes are we ready to yes. start guys yes. Yes. yeah very good i uh, remember yesterday we were talking about appearance we were talking about height we were talking about what else what else were we talking about? Guys, ayer de qué más hablábamos en clase? Excuse me, hay una tele por ahí bien alta. All right. Eh, guys, de qué más hablábamos ayer? Oh, describing people. Describing people. Famous, yeah, describing famous people, that's good. Okay, so we were talking about height. ¿De qué más hablamos ayer aparte de height? Para preguntar height, ¿qué otra cosa preguntamos ayer, guys? How long? How long? How tall? Uh, how tall, all right. How tall? How, uh, how tall? 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 How How tall? 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 How old? How old? How old? How old? How old are you? Oh, how old are you? How old are you? Okay, how old are you? How old are you? How old am I? How old am I? De repente ya no queremos recordarnos nuestra edad. Entonces, am I? All right. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. So, and in general description, you can ask uh, what you look like or how do you look like, and you can say, well, I am nice. I am short. I am uh intelligent i'm shy or whatever your description is okay okay los, las, los um, pictures de las famous people terminamos esa última actividad lograron terminarla no. not really yes yeah so so <laughs> all right uh, i'm gonna share with you guys Y lo voy a mandar a su grupo. Todo se la voy a enseñar. So you guys remember what um okay. what pictures we were talking about. Si terminó la actividad y le tocó otra persona, hay otras otras fotos ahí. So you can choose another one and practice. The idea is for you to practice. All right, it's very important for you to practice. Remember that this is the only one you have. All right. So here I have guys. I have um. This one, remember, was a Lady D. We were also talking Lady about D. Einstein, all right? Si terminó ayer, trate de escoger otra foto, all right? Then we talk about Cristiano Ronaldo, Obama, 
Julia Roberts, uh, Harry Potter. I can't remember his name, his real name. Uh, Rasmus <laughs> or something. Uh, we have Leonardo DiCaprio. We have Jobs. All right, we have um, Will Smith. Yeah. Will Smith. Very good. We have Marilyn Monroe. We have Marilyn. Queen Elizabeth. All right, we have Adolf Hitler. We have, oops, we have uh, Dwayne Johnson or The Rock. Okay, and we have Malala. All right. So, el, vamos a hacer lo mismo que estábamos haciendo ayer, the last activity. Vamos a tener como unos, no sé, un par de minutos. Eh, describing, y si yo estoy trabajando con Erika, yo le pregunto a Erika, Erika, what the, yo escojo Malala, and I say, Erika, what does she look like? And she's going to say, well, she has black hair, brown eyes, oval face, all right? She's very intelligent, for example. Eh, y luego le puedo preguntar, Tall is she? Obviamente no sabemos qué tan altos son, pero inventémonos un número, all right? Y podemos decir, ah, she's one meter okay. and 65 centimeters. Uh, how old is she? No sabemos la edad, inventémosla. La importante es to practice. She's 25, she's 28, I don't know, all right? Uh, yes? I have a question. Yeah. I'm Milton. Yes, Milton. I, uh, I, Cuando es de altura, es only centimeter, centimeter, o, o se puede decir un metro. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah you can say uh, one meter and, and 58 centimeters, or 158. O okay. se puede contar en pies, si usted sabe qué tan alto es usted o esa persona en pies, entonces le dice, por ejemplo, yo soy five feet two. All right, si lo sabe en pie, vámonos con el metro y los centímetros, all right? Yes? All right. Uh, Dwayne Johnson right. is probably like two meters. He's very, very tall, I think. I don't know. All right, but he's very um, muscular, correct. all right? It's correct. Uh, un, 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 un metro o un metro cincuenta. Sí, usted centímetro. puede decir 150 centímetros. 150, okay. entiendo que es un metro con 50, por ejemplo. O dice yeah. one meter, para practicar the pronunciation of meter, and 50 centímetros. All right? Yeah? Okay. All right, very yeah. good. Okay, so, si, y vuelvo y repito para los que acaban de entrar. Si lograron terminar la actividad de ayer, la vamos a volver a hacer para tener un poquito más de tiempo. Van a estar con alguien diferente. Escoja otra, otra picture, all right? So we have this right. one, but remember guys, so you uh, can practice. Vamos a terminar esto. Después de esta actividad tenemos nuevo tema. All right, guys. So I'm going to send you to your breakout rooms right now. We have 22 people connected. Well, 21 with me. So I'll go with uh, 10 people. Va a haber un grupo de tres participantes, but that's okay. Luego se empiezan a integrar los demás. So please click on uh, the join button right now, so you have time to um, to practice. Hi Nelson, I already sent you to a breakout room. All right, Nelson, I already sent you to a breakout room. Can you hear me? Nelson, ¿me escucha? Yes, teacher. Hi, lo acabo de integrar. Le, eh, tendría que irse al para el dos. No sé si le salió la invitación. Yes. All right, so click on it because they're practicing right now, okay? Thank you. Como quiera. Yo ya tengo la de Marilyn Monroe, pero si quiere hagamos la de Obama. Hagan, hagan otra para que puedan practicar más y describir diferente, ¿ok? Right? Entonces, Obama o Will Smith. Como usted quiera. 
Yo sinceramente ese niño no le entendí muy bien cómo era que iba. Solo es describirlos, describir los, los colores de los ojos, el cabello, todo lo que tenemos en la cara, eh, inventarnos una estatura y, y una talla, Ajá, la talla, eh, tal vez la, el peso, el peso no hemos visto. Este, lo, lo que hemos estado viendo de la descripción. Uh -huh. okay. Solo es eso. Vale, entonces se llama Barack Obama. Vale, he is, he is a, a tall, a very tall, él es muy alto. He is very tall. He is very tall. Uh -huh. eh, los ojos, él es moreno, ¿verdad? El Ojo moreno. negro. Black eggs. Ajá. Black eggs. Es very tall. How, ¿Le ponemos half o solo hey, black eggs? Espérenme, el, el pelo es colocho, ¿verdad? Sí. Es colocho y, ne y negro, espérenme. Ah, o en la foto que está ahí, este, ¿tiene el pelo negro o ya lo tiene blanco? No, lo tiene negro. Vale, entonces sería strike black hair. Genia. Hola. Genia, vea la foto. Ah, pues sí, ahí todavía, todavía no se le había blanqueado, ¿ok? Esa es la que aparece. Sí. Muy bien, entonces sería straight black hair. No, sería short black hair. Short. Short, que sería corto. Ajá, uh -huh, black hair. Black hair. Hair, que es pelo. Uh -huh. Pelo negro y corto. Sería uh -huh. curly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Curly. Short black. Short and curly. Hair. Espérenme, short. Short, corto, negro y colocho. Tan curly, porque es colocho, ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces lo pondríamos. ¿Dónde iría lo del cabello primero? No, eso lo puede poner seguido, que es muy alto, que tiene ojos negros, que su cabello es corto, negro y colocho. Eh, puede ponerle, quiero ver qué otra cosa, middle age, que es mediana edad. El age, porque tiene mediana edad, ¿verdad? No está muy viejito. No, se está joven. Si usted lo ve guapo, póngale handsome. <risa> si lo ve bonito, pretty. <risa> o good looking. Uh, Atractivo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Así que le puedo poner his a good looking. Eh, Mm, es very tall, dijimos, pero ya está. Entonces, lo de que es heavy sería. Quiero ver. ¿Qué más le quiere poner? Sí. La, la altura es delgado. Ya le pusimos very tall. Yes. Eh, busque ahí en, en cuánto mide el, el ex presidente. Vamos a ver. Ponga biografía de Barack Obama. Ahí le va a aparecer cuando nació, cuánto. Sí. Ya, ya le apareció. Porque hay que ponerla cuánto mide. Dice Barack Obama. Dice, nació el 4 de agosto, la ciudad de... Born. No, 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 4 de agosto. ¿De qué año? Ah, 4 de agosto de 1961. 61. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Y cuánto mide? Eh, nombre, nombre de nacimiento para... Obama, Barack, José, 
No, la medida no le aparece. No, no aparece. Entonces inventémoslo uno de dos metros, porque es bien alto. Sí. Sería two meters. 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 Two meters. Ajá, sí. porque sale más difícil poniendo. Lo pondríamos donde he's tall, o después mide. Ajá. No, no, no. Ahí donde dice he's very tall. He's very tall. Ajá. Two meters. Two. O sea, él mide cómo se pone. Quiero ver. ¿De poco le sirvió la pista? Um, Sería, eh, his toll is two meters. Two meters. Two meters. His toll is, ajá, uh -huh, two meters. Two meters. Ok, entonces quedamos así. Barack Obama, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo íbamos a comenzar con la altura? Ajá, he is very tall. He is very tall. Is, Entonces, ¿por qué no hacemos la pregunta? Eh, who is Barack Obama? ¿Quién es Barack no, Obama? Era, era eh, West Who, ¿quién es? Ajá. Who is Barack Obama? Ajá. Sí. He is eh, ex presidente, le ponemos. Ex president is an ex president. An. Yes, who? Mm. Hi guys, are you finished? Yeah. Yes. All right, very good. Okay. Just let me check in another um, breakout room and we're going to go back to the main one, to the main session, all right? Okay. Están bien. Hi, Henry. Hi, Milton. Hi, teacher. Estamos planeando la primera salida porque nunca lo hacemos. Never. <laughs> we're going to go to Chalate. Sí, <laughs> yeah. Donde <laughs> Dice que tiene un amigo que tiene un rancho y tiene que ir a de tilapia. Usted da red tilapia y se la come. ¿eh? Y wow. camarones. Camarones, a ver. ¿Andas sin chalate, Ajá. Milton? ¿Qué? ¿Andas sin chalate? Sí. Nueva Concepción. Oh, very good. All right. Okay, uh, let's do the planning. Let's plan it and we go. Okay. <laughs> good. Vamos All a pedir right, 100 okay. dólares por persona. My goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Para que salga el aguinaldo. Uh, este, hasta diciembre. Este, describimos de, de, de a Mr. Barack Obama. Ah, very good. Hi, Angélica. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to go to the main session right now so we can have uh, the, the other topic that I have for you ready, okay? All right. Yeah. Hi, Sergio. All right, are you guys ready to continue? How many people do I have connected by now? Let me see how many people I have, 26? All right, did you guys practice? Whoa, alguien me está compartiendo pantalla? And it's not me. All right, guys, so, uh, this is what I have for you tonight. Do you know what the topic of tonight is? Anybody? A ver, Joanna, do you know the topic for tonight? Joanna, no. Elizabeth, no. Cuando no sé si están conectados. All right, Cecilia, what's the topic for tonight, Cecilia? Okay. What is the topic for tonight? 
because right now we're doing the review of yesterday's class, but what about tonight? What's the topic for tonight? Modifiers with uh, with participles. Participles and? Um, prepositions. Prepositions, very good, Jose. You studied, excellent, very good. <laughs> All right, guys, that's right. We're going to study, hi, Michael. We're going to study uh, modifiers with participles and prepositions today and tomorrow, okay? Igual okay. que hay, igual okay. que ahora que entramos haciendo práctica de lo de ayer, mañana vamos a entrar haciendo práctica de lo de ahora, all right? But today I'm going to give you the topic. Que tengamos piedad de mi cabecita, ando una migraña insoportable y, y, y necesito que me ayuden y no me va a explotar. Right, very good. Pongamos un micrófono, porfa. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, excellent. All right, guys. So, uh, this is what I have. This is the topic that um, Jose Sorto said, all right, which he was very right. This is the topic, all right, modifiers with participles and prepositions. Si ustedes ya vieron la plataforma, que espero que así sea, all right, vemos, eh, that was, this is the topic, modifiers with participles and prepositions. This is what we're going to study tonight. Si se fijan, es como que se vuelve ya un poquito más complejo, no es que sea difícil, pero ya se vuelve un poquito más Más bonita la cosa, ¿verdad? So, you guys really need to pay attention. All right? And if you have any questions, please ask me. When we talk about modifiers with participles, this is what we do. All right. A ver, los que ya vieron la plataforma, ¿reconocen eso? Yes, mueva su cabecita. You can unmute your, your mic. Very good, Erika. Thank you. All right? Jorge, ¿no? ¿Has studied that already? Sergio? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, I see guys. You. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. Um, hi, Claudita. Oh, nice to have you, Claudia. Claudia Cubillas. All right. So, guys, eh, Vilma, Vilma Olivares. Hagamos una cosa, Vilmita. Vilma, can you listen to me? Yes. Me. All right. Thank you. Vilma, can you be Liz? And Will Miranda, can you be Raul, please? Okay. All right, so I want you to read the conversation. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. I, I am. You are Liz, Vilma. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is Maggie? Uh huh, Will. Guys, come on, wake up. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, she she could. She couldn't. She couldn't ma make it. Make it. Make it. She went a concert. With she went Alex. to a concert. She went to a concert with Alex. Uh huh. Oh well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia. Julia, así como sorprendido. Julia, ¿quién es Julia? Uh -huh. Julia, which, which one is she? Is she, is she the woman wearing glasses over here? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet, meet her. I would like to meet her. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Milma. Thank you, Will. All right. Another, another, vamos a hacer otra lectura más. A ver. Um, okay. Yo. Who is yo? <laughs> Lucia. Yo. All right. Lucia, can you be Liz? And Ana Moss, can you be Raul, please? A ver, solo que su, el ruido es, es bastante loud, guys. Ajá. Oh, she Mucho ruido. 
she went to a concert with others. Guys, perdón, perdón, perdón. Anita y, y Lucía, solo denme un segundo. Eh, realmente es bien difícil cuando hay un ruido bien fuerte en, en su alrededor, pero usted sabe si tiene ese ruido en su casa. Le pido de favor, de verdad, 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 que sea considerado o considerada y mute your microphone, all right? Ahorita solo que están encendidos lo de Anita porque está participando y de Lucía. Aparte que me va a explotar a mi cabecita, no se le entiende a las compañeras. All right, and the idea is to practice the reading, guys. Please be like very nice, okay? Normas de convivencia normales, please. All right, very good. Ajá, eh, Lucía, Anita, por favor, unmute your, um, out your microphones. All right, so you continue, okay? Okay. Uh, continue or iniciamos? No, continue, continue, it's okay. Oh, well, why don't you and talk to Julia? She doesn't know and join here. Anyone, anyone here? Oh, anyone here. Uh-huh. Julia? Which one is she? Excellent. Which is one is she? Is she a woman wearing glasses over there? Mm -hmm. No. Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Excellent, Anita. No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Uh -huh, Anita? Oh. I like to meet her. Excellent. Very good girls. All right. I would like to meet her. Thank you, Anita. And thank you, Lucia. Guys, this is what I want you to pay attention to. I'm going to read the conversation and just follow the reading, okay? If you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation, I want you to ask me. All right. It says, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I would like to meet her, okay? If you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation, please unmute your microphone and you can ask me right now. Uh-huh. Uh, teacher? Yes. Where is the minute standing? Okay, when you stand up, uh, I'm going to show you this one. For example, can you see the tall lady that is here? Yeah? Can yeah. You see her? Okay, she's just standing up. Right now, I'm sitting down because I'm talking to you and I'm using my computer. Estoy sentada. The, uh, the opposite is standing up. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, very good. Anybody else? Yes, another question. Yes, yes, Billy. Uh, when Lee says, uh, where is Maggie? Where's Maggie, uh-huh. Where is Maggie? And Raul says, oh, she couldn't make it. Excellent, uh -huh. What is that? Okay, that's a very good question, Vilma, okay? That is an expression. When you say she couldn't make it, is that she was not able to come to the party. Okay. All right. For example, I say, uh, we have a night, but you will meet that you had something else. You had to go to, I don't know, to, to the supermarket. And then you text me and you say, Jessica, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it to class. All right. I was not in class because I had something else to do. Mm -hmm. All right. So couldn't make it is an expression when you say I cannot go or I couldn't go or I, I, wasn't be, I wasn't able to come to the class or to the party or something, all right? Okay, thank Very you. Good question. No, you, thank you, all right. Anybody else? A ver, tengo aquí, um, on chats. I have Buscala Class in YouTube, all right. All right, that's okay, all right. Any other question, guys? No questions? All right, very good. Now, now, then I have questions for you. Okay. Um, Flores, can you listen to me, Flores? Flores, Flores, no? All right. Hi. All right. 
on, let me see. On the last, um, on the last part when Liz is talking and she says, no, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Do you see a preposition there, Flores? Huh? Do you see any preposition on those two on those two sentences? Or not? Do you understand Flores or you don't understand what I'm asking? Near. Okay, near is one and another preposition, guys. What is no. another preposition? Listen to the sentence. In. No, she, that's right. Thank you. Near. She says, yeah, she's the tall one in jeans near the window. Near. In my near. near the window. Excellent. All right. So the preposition is near. The window is not the preposition. Near. Near. As well as in. All right. In is a preposition. All right. Very good. Yes. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Now. Yes. yes. Very good. I ask. I have another question. Joanna Navidad. If I say Julia, Raúl dice Julia. Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Um, do you see a verb, uh, Joanna? Wearing. wearing, very good. Now, what is wearing, guys? What is wearing? Is, uh, to use clothes. Is to use clothes, all right? And um, is it a preposition or is it a participle? Just give me a second, Eric. I cannot get it. I cannot grab this. All right. Um, uh -huh. Uy, otra vez ese sonido, guys. Voy a tener que ir a lo, a lo, desde el hospital y voy a dar la clase, en serio. Ajá. All right. Okay. Ajá. So, eh, wearing, is it a preposition or is it a participle? El que tiene la respuesta, you can answer. Ajá, Rodolfo. Participle. It's a participle. Okay, and this is what I'm going to show you right now. Yeah, wearing is a participle, all right? So I want to, that's why I stopped sharing this, because I want to show you something else. And this is what I'm going to show you right now. All right? Okay, so when we talk about participles, guys, esto es lo que sucede, all right? To form a participle, you need a verb plus ing. Lo, no, lo solemos confundir con el presente continuo, pero no, es, no está actuando como un presente continuo, ¿ok? De hecho, está actuando como un adjetivo, all right? Porque está modificando algo. Para hacerlo, se le, en este caso ya no se le llama presente continuo, ING, sino que se le llama participle, all right? Y es the verb plus ING. Como por ejemplo, she is the one wearing jeans. Yeah. Mueva la cabecita los que tengo en, en, en video, porque hay varios que los tengo apagados y de verdad que, si no los oigo y no los veo, de verdad que siento que I don't know who I'm talking to. Right. Eh, la verdad no, no, no me queda claro porque en este caso no, no es participio es participio This is, es, es participio, participio Erika. lo que no es es presente continuo ah. por la posición del de, de mismo en la, dentro de la oración no es un presente continuo All right. okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. hold on. I'm going to give you examples right now. Ahorita lo que quiero que vean es cómo se forma un participio. Y se forma un verbo plus ing. 
obviamente muy parecido a un presente continuo, pero usted olvida el presente continuo ahorita, eso ya lo dejo en básico. Ahora los participios se ven en intermedio, ¿ya? Yes. Ok. Ok, very good. Let's okay. keep going here. Voy a, vamos a ver acá. Eh, de verdad que yo no veo a nadie ahora. Todos tienen su, su cosita apagada. Qué tremendo. ¿Por qué no quieren verme? No, yo sí si me ven. Ustedes ustedes sí me ven, pero que aquí I can see, no teacher. Ustedes. Pues sí, sí, I todos me ven, see. pero yo no lo veo a ustedes. Ahí está. Hoy sí me aplaudita, Elizabeth Amore. Aquí lo voy a dejar de hacer yo también. Ok. Es que si no siento que soy la noche. All right, so sentence number one, listen and, and, and read it, okay? It says, he's the man dancing in the living room, okay? Como le, le acabo de mencionar, ¿por qué sé que no es un presente continuo? Por la posición que se ocupa dentro de la oración ahorita. Si se acuerda en presente continuo, yo decía, he's dancing. ¿Se acuerda de eso? Yes. Sí, yes. por favor, okay. Yes. Si no me va a poner mal la cabeza, right? Pero en este caso ya no lleva okay. su misma posición. Dancing está dentro de otra, en otro lugar dentro de my sentence, all right? Entonces se vuelve un participio. Is the man dancing in the living room? What about number two? She's the girl wearing a dress, all right? He's the one playing soccer. Okay. Ok. Entonces tenemos okay. dancing, wearing, playing. Ya se fijó que lo armamos un verb plus ing, como está aquí. Dancing, wearing, playing. Nada. Ok. Ahora, okay. lo que yo estoy haciendo acá, perdón, lo que yo estoy haciendo acá, lo que hace un participio o una preposición es darme más información de ese alguien o de, este, de eso que estoy hablando. All right. Entonces es como unir Dos ideas, digamos. All right, he's the man dancing. Dancing se vuelve un Porque usted busca a alguien que está bailando, ¿cierto? He's the man dancing in the living room. Digamos que estamos everybody here in the, in the living room of my house y de repente le digo, usted me dice, who is your father? Y hay cinco hombres más y le digo, ah, my father is the man dancing in the living room. Porque está Jorge, pero he's sitting down. Está José pero está cooking, está Elizabeth and she's talking. All right, entonces me da la idea right. a quién ubico, ¿me entiendes? All right, yeah. voy a buscar okay. a alguien que esté dancing. All right, de la misma forma, I'm going to look for someone that is wearing a dress. All right, look at this example here, guys. He's the one playing soccer. I'm not talking about a man, I'm not talking about a girl, because I'm using one. Al usar one, lo que estoy haciendo es replacing men or girl. O sea, esto. Uso one, replaces men or woman. And one refers to people. Okay? So when I have many people, I say the ones. Okay? Como este ejemplo. He's the one playing soccer. All right? You understand that? Si usted no quiere decir... He's yeah. the man, porque obviamente he es un hombre, mm -hmm. para que no se oiga como igual, he's the man, porque no puede decir he's the girl, all right, because that won't make sense. Puedo reemplazar men for one. Puedo reemplazar girl for one. She's the one wearing a dress. She's the girl wearing a dress. Yeah? Teacher. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿y a question? I have a question. Yeah. Yes, ask me. No importa que sea ella, se puede usar he is the one. Aunque no, no uh -huh. ella. Sí, no, aquí está. One replace. Ok, Angélica, dígame. En este caso, en español sería como el usar el él o la. Él es el hombre. ¿Quién como está bailando? Es la que está jugando. Sería como es la que está jugando. Right. So, soccer. Uh -huh. O es él que está jugando soccer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, when we talk about prepositions, a ver, Erika Domínguez, give me one preposition de todas las prepositions que usted se acuerda. 
Give me one preposition. Where? A uh, preposition. Donde no. No, porque esa es la pregunta para ubicar la preposición. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Allá. <laughs> Guys, guys, hoy se me están portando malitos. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? All right, a ver. Eh, Jorge Roa, give me one preposition, please. Uh, between. Between, you. very good, yes. Okay, thank you. Claudia Patricia, give me another preposition. Claudita. Claudia Patricia Alas. On. On, very good, very good. Yes, very good. Sergio, another y, preposition. Yes, very good. Behind, Sergio, behind, very good. Jake, another preposition. Near. Near, all right. Rafael, another preposition. Next, next to. Very good. Okay, very good. So those are prepositions. Behind, okay. Um, Excellent. Obviamente, allá, guys. No, esa no, porque I am is yo soy. What's the preposition? No, allá, allá. 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 Uh -huh. Over there. Over there. there. Um, no, that's not a preposition, <laughs> is it? No. I don't think that's a preposition. No, 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 it's... Uh-huh. All right. Uh, so prepositions, remember that they give me the location of something or someone, okay? In, on, besides, next to, in front of, across from, all right? Entonces, eh, they give me information of location, ¿ok? Y como estamos hablando de modifiers with participles and prepositions, no le escribí... No escribí las prepositions because I know you know them. In, on, over, under, next to, besides, behind, all that, all right? So let's go on here. All right. Yes. Yo creo que me he equivocado porque la verdad nunca entiendo mucho, ¿verdad? pero es lo que está indicando cómo es ¿Ah? aquella persona de la que se está hablando. Perdóneme, Lucía. Eh, sería como para ubicar la preposición. Uh -huh. Es como la, una descripción de la persona de la que se está hablando, ¿no? La ubicación de la persona. Yo le puedo, le puedo preguntar, estamos en una fiesta, Lucía, ¿ok? Nos estamos conociendo todos por primera vez y usted ya conoce a Milton. Y le digo, who is Milton? Y me dice, ah, es, el, es la persona o es el que está a la par de Senia. Y como yo conozco a Senia, digo, ah, that's Milton. Entonces... La preposición lo que hace es me da la ubicación de la persona que yo quiero saber quién es. All right. O aparte me puede decir, ah, es el, el, el hombre que tiene, que está cantando. Y Milton estaba cantando una gran ranchera. All right, Milton. Okay, por eso que All right. Tengo... All right. Okay. Yes, very good. Ok. Que, digamos que okay. Si habla de una persona y se dice la que es de pelo corto, que es este... Yes. Delgada, alta. O... Ajá, esa es la descripción que estábamos viendo ayer. Ahora estamos usando siempre como para ubicar a la persona y dándome una ubicación del lugar de esa persona o lo que está haciendo esa persona. All right, a ver, what is the use of modifiers with prepositions and participles? We use modifiers with participles and prepositions to give more information about the noun, about the person that we're talking about, okay? Para eso usamos los modifiers with participles and prepositions, to give more information about Angela, about Freddy, about Evelyn, about eh, Lucia, about Jessica, about Sergio, about someone, okay? Nos, nos ayudan a dar información para ubicar a esa persona o saber de quién estoy hablando. Very good. Okay. Okay. Veamos aquí. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. A ver, Evelyn, Re Evelyn Perez, can you read sentence number one, please? Mm -hmm. He is the man dancing in the living room. Okay. He is the man dancing in the living room. Ah, puede ser John. All right. No, no se fijen los nombres que están ahí. Doesn't matter. He is the man dancing in the living room. Very good. Freddy, number two. Entonces, 
Freddy, Freddy, Fredito, no, sleeping Fredito. Ajá. <laughs> Sentence number two, Freddy. Okay. She's the one wearing a dress. Excellent, very good. Next one, Angela Machuca, number three. She is the Japanese woman with dark hair. Excellent, very nice pronunciation. Sergio, can you read number three, please? Uh, she's the tall person next to the window. All right, all right. She's the tall person next to the window. Se saltó una, Sergio, no importa. Erika Dominguez, oh. regrese una, that's okay. He is the one. Uh -huh. He is the one in white pants. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So now I will ask you, um, uh, Claudia Patricia, in sentence number one, he's the man dancing in the living room. Am I using a preposition or am I using a participle? Claudia, in sentence number one, Am I using a participle or I'm using a preposition? Que si hay un, una preposición. O a participle. O un participio. Mm -hmm. eh, in the hay living room. Hay un participio. Excellent. Which is no, which one? Which is? La preposición es Dancing. Dancing. Después del Dancing. Right. Okay, very good. What about, uh -huh. uh, thank you very much. Uh, Jorgito, she's the one wearing a dress. Uh -huh. Jorge, participle or preposition? Uh, the one uh, wearing, wearing is, is participle. It's a participle. 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 All right. Very good. All right. It's a participle. Vilma, thank you. Vilma Olivares, she's the Japanese woman with dark hair. Mm. That's a correct one. using a, a preposition. Yeah, all right, very good. All right, next one, guys. Rodolfo, he's the one in white pants. Rodolfo? Rodolfo, your mic is off, Rodolfo. Rodolfo, all right. In, prepos preposition in. In, very good. Okay, and the last one, uh, let me see. Eh, Vanessa, she's the tall person next to the window, preposition or participle? It's a uh, preposition. Preposition, all right. Distinguirlos es bien fácil porque usted sabe que es una preposición, all right. Y los otros son verbos with ing. Let's see, the other one. Michelle. Who's Liz, Michelle? She's the woman with short black hair. Very good. All right. Uh, which one is uh, Aldair? Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. All right, very good. Uh, Jake, who are the Smiths? They are the people next to the window. Very good. Anna? ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. They are the ones on the couch. Perfect. Okay. Vamos a continuar. Rafael, who is Honey? Rafael, who is Honey? No, no me escucha. A ver, Joana, who is Honey? She's the girl that wears straight brown hair. Yeah, she's the girl with straight brown hair. Aldair, se oye ese ruido. Aldair, Aldair, ay, Aldair, ya lo controlamos. De hecho, acá no hay ningún ruido. Ah, vaya, pues no es usted. A punto de caer. ¿Quién es? All right, well, that doesn't matter. All right, let's see. Um, Let's see. Um, Elizabeth Gonzalez is Charles. Yes, teacher. He's the short one in a black suit. In a black suit. In a black suit. All right. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Um, Jose Sorto, who is your niece? She is the pretty girl between Nick. Um, Stace. Anastasia. 
Stacy. All right, very good. Okay. I just want to stop sharing this for a second. All right. Okay, guys. Um, because of time, we're not going to practice today, but we're going to practice tomorrow the whole class. Okay, mañana vamos a entrar directo a lo casi que directo a los breakout rooms. Vamos a hacer un review de los participles and de los, of the um, prepositions with modifiers. All right? That all right. For you to say, for example, imagínese que yo tengo aquí a una persona y usted me dice, uh, who, who is he? All right? Or who is who is your um, daughter? All right, una mi, mi hija. Yo le digo, ah, she is the one or she is the girl eh, playing next to the dog. All right? So le doy la ubicación para que se diga, ah, y ubico a esa niña. All right? So the idea is for you to All write right. this using the conversation or using the, the platform, I guess, with the information. Usted puede darlo haciendo, using a preposition or using a participle. Preguntas hasta ahorita. Mañana vamos a hacer mucha práctica de esto. No se preocupe porque si tengo, bueno, de hecho tenía la, la diapositiva que vamos a usar donde hay una imagen y la, cuando se vayan a los breakout rooms van a practicar who is Angela. Le va a poner nombre. Okay, all right. Y usted se va a ir dando, ubica, ubicando a su compañero o su compañera usando ya sea participles o prepositions. Do you have any questions about this topic? No, I don't have. No, I don't have a question. You don't have a question? I don't. No question. All right, very good. Entonces, mañana asegúrese bien que eso, uh, tratemos de entender mejor que es una, una preposición, ¿verdad? Que sí, son under todas las preposiciones del lugar. And the participles that we have studied before, all right? In this case, recuerde que para formar un participle necesito un verbo más ING. Y ahí nos vamos a ir. Unimos, o lo usamos para unir y dar ubicación, all right? Guys, are we okay? Questions? All right. It's okay. Okay, very good, guys. So, it's what time is it right now, guys? Because I have the other class. As we finish, I have the other class. I think it's time to go. So, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay, so please study. Thank you, Amin. Thank you. 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 Thank you.